Instead, they found a world that behaves more like a dream. The first clue was the famous double slit experiment. Here's the gist. When you fire tiny particles, like electrons, at a screen with two slits in it, something wild happens. If no one is looking, the electrons act like a wave of pure potential, spreading out and passing through both slits at once. They create a wave-like interference pattern on the other side, which tells us they explored all possibilities simultaneously. But, and this is the kicker, the moment you place a detector at the slits to observe which path the electron takes, the wave of possibility collapses. The electron snaps to attention, behaves like a good solid particle, and picks just one path. Now let's be super clear about this. Most physicists agree the observer doesn't have to be a person. Any interaction with the environment that measures the particle is enough to force this choice. Still, the philosophical ripple effects are huge. The very act of interaction seems to force the universe to collapse from a state of infinite possibility into one single concrete reality. It was the first scientific hint that the line between the observer and the observed wasn't nearly as sharp as we thought. The second, even weirder clue, is what Einstein famously called spooky action at a distance. 